When NASA builds a spacecraft, it builds it in a clean room. Here, air is filtered to keep out dust and contaminants. Scientists also run tests to make sure microscopic life forms didn't somehow get on board, where they can hitchhike to other worlds. One of the main NASA missions is to try to see if there's life elsewhere in the solar system other than Earth. And so obviously you don't want to contaminate the places that you want to search for new life with our own life. To test for contamination, scientists swab the spacecraft and put them on petri dishes to see if colonies of bacteria form. The problem with that is it takes days. Now with new technology, scientists can spot contamination in minutes and not just on spacecraft. Spores are the toughest form of life. If you can show that the spores have been killed, you can assume everything else has been killed. And our test for whether or not the spores are alive allows us to very rapidly determine uh, whether or not a sterilization uh, regimen is, was effective or not. Our technology only takes 15 minutes before a result becomes available. We put our samples onto these, this little widget here the spores are loaded with a chemical, a unique chemical that's only found in spores. And this chemical then binds with our uh, reagents, the things that we supply, and under UV light forms a bright green spot. If the spores are alive, we'll see bright green spots forming. If they're not alive, you won't see the spots. Well, we envision that in the future uh, our technology can be used in places like restaurants or food preparation areas to determine uh, whether or not there's good hygiene so people don't get sick. A lot of human disease is caused by invisible microbes and viruses. How do you know that the surfaces are clean for uh, cutting up foods and things like that? Well, you have to have a, a method to uh, visualize how many microorganisms are there. A detector like this could spot disease-causing bacteria like anthrax. That's why the U.S. Department of Homeland Security is paying for a portable version of this technology, one that could be used if there's a biological attack. For example, in the anthrax attacks, where the Senate and the post offices were hit, how do you know that those are ready for occupancy? Well, you have to make sure that the buildings have been cleaned properly. The technology could also bring major benefits to medicine. It's application with um, hospitals. A lot of hospital-acquired diseases, the way to avoid that largely is by making sure that medical equipment and medical areas are clean, and in the end effect, saving lives. So a single new technology could help safeguard the search for life in other worlds and help save lives in ours.